We came here to protest all the chaos that Aharonovich's cops cause us in the middle of the night. They don't let us sleep. Here it's quiet. Aharonovich sleeps well. But in our communities, the cops arrive at 5 o'clock in the morning and wake up people who already have trouble sleeping because of the difficult situation. We hope that he gets the message. Just as he sleeps now at night, we also deserve to sleep at night. Just as you are blocking the area here and not letting us go near the house and place loudspeakers, we also deserve to sleep properly and not to be woken up at 5 o'clock in the morning by loud and scary knocks that can even wake up the dead. Too bad it won't wake up those among us who were murdered. The inflexibility is dominant here. We wanted to pass a note to him and even that his security guards wouldn't allow us to do. It shows how disconnected he is from the people, how he doesn't care about the people who don't sleep. Let us put this in his mailbox, please. It's a letter that little girls wrote to him, little girls who are neighbors of the Fogel family who were murdered. They were saved by a miracle from the terror attack because coincidentally they weren't home. They want to give this to him. My daughter wrote Aharonovich a letter. Aharonovich, get off our backs. Being a settler is not a crime. This was written by Shachar, a girl in first grade. The letter that my older daughter wrote says, Aharonovich, stop waking up small children in the middle of the night. Let us sleep peacefully. 